Hello and welcome back. I'm here to do a spoilery discussion of Persepolis Rising by James S. A. Corey, which I requested from Orbit Books. If you have not read this one, please note that I am planning on discussing spoilers for this particular book. However, if you want to know more about the series, more about the book without being spoiled, I have done a separate review on that, which will be linked places if you're not familiar with the series, but clicked on this video anyway. I would actually prefer that you go back to an older video I did on Leviathan Wakes. All that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start spoiling the book, so you've been warned. I just wanted a chance to talk a little bit more about this without worrying about spoilers, which is so hard to do when you're talking about the seventh book in a series. And I'm going to try not to make this one big gushing video, but I honestly love this series so much. I really like the perspectives in this one. I always am happy to see Holden back with another perspective. I'll be really sad if any of the books don't have his perspective. Unless they kill him off, I want to see his perspective in every single book. I personally really love him as a character and it might be partially because he is so addicted to coffee, which is easily my biggest addiction. Now I was also really happy to see Bobby back with a perspective as well. She is one of my favorite female characters. I think she really brought a lot to the series and having a stronger female character because in my personal opinion while I like Naomi the fact that she's in a relationship with Holden always kind of weakened her as a character she always felt like a little bit more of a love interest than a kick-butt female character which I always love to read about in books I'll be honest I was really really hoping that Avicelia which I'm probably saying her no name wrong but you know who I mean I was hoping she'd have a perspective in this one because I just love her so much she is just so foul mouth she calls it like it is but I almost wish we had gotten to read from her point of view because I always like to know what she's thinking she's so crass but so much of what she is thinking doesn't necessarily come through in what she actually says so I did kind of miss that I hope they bring her back with a perspective in the next couple books but I still of course and you know just enjoyed seeing her I was just fangirling as soon as she popped up and as for the other two perspectives I'm someone who doesn't always love a extra perspective there's something especially later in a series where I just want to read about the characters that I already know but I was pleasantly surprised by these ones drummer's character just seemed interesting obviously it was a necessary perspective because it gave a point of view that we wouldn't have had otherwise but I actually really like Singh's perspective I really liked even seeing his relationship with both his wife and his child the fact that she was called monster was really cute and I really like those aspects and I'm not someone who kind of likes cuter aspects in a book but for whatever reason that just worked really well for me and I actually enjoyed reading from all the perspectives there was never a chapter where I was like oh we're back to this one but um, I'd love to know what you thought of the different perspectives what you liked what you didn't the other thing I want to talk about of course is the fact of Holden passing off his ship and I did not expect that at all they have been with that ship since the beginning and I did not see it coming uh, there is a little bit that's kind of hard with something like that where even though they passed off the ship to someone else, of course Holden kind of ends up coming back, but I am happy that he didn't fully take on his role of being captain again. So I like the fact that it really is still Bobby's ship even by the end of all of this. I suppose the authors probably did that on purpose, that they wanted you to feel a little bit that it was kind of bittersweet, that people were moving along, that they were having a life and really trying to move and just move on in their lives but at the same time I just wanted them to come back and I don't know and I was like things can't change and I think that was honestly one of the best parts about this book was the fact which I mentioned in my review the fact that it deals so much with the passage of time about aging I loved hearing that the ship was getting old that Bobby was getting old and Holden started to reminisce and I really wasn't actually sure specifically how much time has passed since the beginning so if anyone knows I'd love to know that but just the fact that it's clear that they are so far from where the story started. And I do like the fact that the characters have grown, that they're not just dumb, they're not making stupid decisions anymore. And they're really much more thoughtful, aware of the political ramifications. And that was something, I didn't totally love the politics in this one, there was just a lot of them, but I did still find it really interesting to see some of the organizations see what's going on with the ring and as people move out of the solar system so a couple things I really enjoyed were 
the conversations about building generational shifts and specifically towards the end when they started talking about the idea of moving away from an earth centric humanity. I really like that idea. The fact that they didn't want to fetishize earth and they realize that you can't make that the be all end all and make it like the mother planet because then people will never want to move away. And I really like that idea of kind of almost rebranding the solar system. So easily some of my favorite parts of the the book were those. As for speculating where the book is going to go from here, I obviously they're going to have to track down Holden and I look forward to some sort of rescue, something happening there. And I'm just really excited to see the last two books. I, no matter what, while this book felt a little bit transitional to me, it's kind of going between Babylon's ashes to whatever they're going to do next. I just know that they're building towards something really great. I do hope the later books address more with the proto molecule. I just find it really fascinating. It's such an enigma. While it's so central to the plot, I honestly don't feel like I know a lot about it. And I realize this book is not hard science fiction, but I would like to understand a little bit more about its technology and even know more about the ancient races that dealt with it and possibly created it, all of that. So I hope that there is some good whether it be flashbacks or finding more documentation as they go along, I just, I, I would be all there for that. So otherwise, I'm just hoping there's some really epic conclusion to this story. Obviously at this point, I know nothing more than you. I've only read this book, so I know nothing about the next two, but I'd love to see an epic ending. I'd love to see people die and just go like straight out Game of Thrones. Like let's just have an epic ending that no one saw coming and I want my mind blown. So I have full confidence in these guys to do that and I'm just really looking forward to it. So uh, keeping it as boilerific as you want. I would love to have your comments down below. Basically your reactions to this book. Love it, hate it. I want to know what were your favorite parts, your favorite perspectives. Do you have predictions for what's going to happen in the last two books? I hope everyone else is planning on reading them because I am so excited because like I said, it's going to go in awesome places. I'm so confident about that. So I hope you guys are planning on reading along with me. So thanks so much for watching and yeah, please share your thoughts down below because that's honestly the whole reason to do a video like this is just to have a more chatty conversation about one of our favorite book series. So thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>